How's the, how's the summer as a whole been for you guys? Um, it, it's been a great summer. You've seen a lot of things from the team that you haven't seen over the past couple of years, and that's always a great thing because what we're trying to do is go out there and win the national championship. So. What, what, what does that mean, things that you haven't seen? It's like we have leadership throughout all the positions on our team, and last year we didn't have that much leadership, which resulted in the 7-6 and six season. Right. We want to be a great team and compete for the national championship. You need as many leaders as you can on the team. Not, not to harp back on last year, but I mean, what do, what do you think was missing with that leadership? Was it just the players, or did it have to develop, or like, what happened? It's just development. Um, we probably didn't work as hard as we could have worked. Okay. And that's, that's what this year, uh, me and uh, my fellow senior, uh, Teammates, we, we're not going out on a 7 6 season. We're going to do all we can to get this team right to go after that national championship. So. Yeah. You're, you're a guy who, you know, uh, I don't know if this is fair to say or not, but I mean, a lot of people probably wouldn't peg you as a vocal leader. I mean, you're just you're sort of a, you seem shy and quiet sometimes, but, you know, all, word is, you know, you've just been tearing it up, I mean, right. in, in the spring. What, what about you has changed? I mean, I'm a competitor, and I know. I, I want to make my mark on this program. Um, I'm not I'm not trying to leave here going to 76, like I said, and I talk with my other fellow senior teammates, and that's just something that we're not going to allow this team to do. So we're going to push everybody as hard as we can just to be a dominant team next year. What, what about the defensive line as, as, in particular? I mean, you guys, it was disappointing last year, you know, and then you break out in, in the outback hole and just sort of go nuts. Like, what, 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 what's the outlook, I guess, for the defensive line coming into next year? We're looking to have a big year. Right now, we have everybody 100%. Hopefully we make it through training camp so we can have everybody during the season 100%. And I think what makes a big difference on our defense this year is our linebackers and uh, Gerald Hodges and Michael Maldi. They just bring a different style of play to our defense. They go out there and they have fun and they make a lot of plays, which just rubs off on a lot of our defensive players. So it, we look like we have a great defense right now. I, I mean, is it, is it, was it almost like you guys were tentative or like hesitant last year? Right. As a, I mean. Because, cause, you know, by all accounts, I mean, you guys are sort of flying around now. and Things, right. things are looser and a little bit more right. fun. I mean, is that right? Now we, we just know how to play the game better now. We know how to work together as a unit. Uh, last year we had a lot of first-time starters, so we didn't really know how to play the game. And you coming in and play 50, 60 plays, you have to know how to play this game. And uh, I think we just got a lot of experience that we can work off of, that, off of last year. How, how important is it to have Eric and Jack both back? really healthy. It's, it's very important. Um, they was our starting defensive ends and uh, when they went down for us last year we lost a lot in our defensive line. Now that we have them back I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a lot more pass for us so I can't wait to start over. With yeah and you know I was just talking to Larry um, this summer I mean he, you know he just said basically if you guys can't stop the run then guys are just gonna keep running on you and that's why the, the pass sack numbers weren't there last year. Right. You know what does stopping the run come down to? Like what you know What's the key ingredient to that? Just everybody has to play their gaps. Everybody has to play uh, their position and play it to a T. Now, we just have to get after it. We can't just hit players and let them run off us like we did with Trent Richardson. Because this year, I'm, I, I can tell you right now, that's not going to happen. He's not just going to be bouncing off tackle because we're going to have 11 people at the ball this year. So last year, you won't see out of defense what you saw. Yeah. Um, you know, it looks like three guys, um, with you and Jordan and then James, I guess, um, you know, you lose Brandon. How much of a, how much does that hurt? I guess losing losing him at um, defensive tackle. It, it hurts a lot. Brandon was a great player, but I guess he didn't quite click with him here. Um, he couldn't help hold up his end uh, academically. So we just have to pick up the next defense end and just get him to have the production that Brandon had and just keep it going. Is, is James that guy? Can he can yeah. he fill in? Yeah, uh, James really surprised a lot of people uh, this spring. He played his heart out and he looked very good doing it. So. I can't wait to see what he does next year for us. How about Daquan? You know, he'll, he'll move back in, assuming everything's fine on the defensive end spots, right? Yeah, I, I think Daquan did a great job last year. Last year was his first year playing. He he had a lot of production. He even had that sack against Florida. Uh, mm -hmm. he's, he's a guy that catches on real quickly with our schemes and stuff, so I'm looking for him to do big things too.